What's going on, my friends? Day three, Vlogmas 2020. We are doing it, man. I feel like we're not quite in the trenches, but we are. You know what I mean? Uh, it's been fun. It's been a fun experience, and I look forward to kind of sharing a little bit more about what I've discovered about myself as a content creator and everything else that is surrounded by this 31-day uh, challenge. So I'm sure there's going to be some lessons learned and some takeaways and things I can share with you. Um, so that being said, uh, it's a cold day here in Houston, Texas. About to go hang out with my little, my little one, my little twin. And I just wanted to shoot this quick video because this is something that I've been pondering for quite some time, this question. And I heard it on a podcast and I'm actually reading a book by this man, the mastermind, uh, marketing guru himself, Seth Godin, which he has a book called The Practice. And in this podcast interview, he, he's asking this, he asked this really profound question that I want to ask you. And this is related, and this could apply to this, this journey that I'm on, right? This 31 day challenge that I'm doing and anybody else who's participating in this and anybody who's a content creator, anybody who's building something that is significant, something that's a game changing, something that's scary, you know, uh, whether it's a project or starting a podcast or a new YouTube channel, business, etc. right? This could apply to anything. And the question is, would you start the thing? Would you start this if you knew you would fail? Let it land. Let me repeat that. Would you start the thing that you're curious about if you knew you would fail? That was such a profound question that allowed me and, and really took me down a rabbit hole of, of a lot of just the just thought process of, of breaking it down in the things that I'm doing right now with, with building a business and building a YouTube channel and building a podcast community and even as a podcaster for many years that the thing that you want to start has, has no outcome and that the thing that you want to start should come from a place where you feel wholeheartedly like it's something that you're curious about and you want to scratch that itch and you just want to start it because you want to do the damn thing, right? <laughs> and with anything, whether you're starting a business, whether you're starting a podcast, a YouTube channel, there's no guarantee. Like there's, there's no guarantee like it's going to be successful. Even like this YouTube challenge, like I'm not expecting a ton of views or, or massive subscribers. As a matter of fact, I started this challenge on a different YouTube channel, a channel that's been abandoned for quite some time, but it wasn't about that. So I think we have to start thinking about starting projects and starting businesses and starting new ventures with no expectation and not being tied to the outcome. And in his book, Seth Godin's book, The Practice, he talks about, you know, the practice is the process. Like the practice is the jam, the doing, right? The, the doing the thing. You're winning because half of the times people don't even get out the gate because they're overthinking it or they feel like there's no ROI or, you know, return on investment or they think that it's not a guarantee, you know, uh, metric, you know, and it scares the hell out of people. And unfortunately, it keeps people away from following their dreams, pursuing their passions, to simply just taking the leap of faith. And that question was so profound, and I wanted to share that with you because if you are at a place in your life where you're afraid and you're hiding behind excuses and you're hiding behind no, you know, there's no guarantee outcome, and that you have high expectations and you don't want to launch the thing because you know you want to make sure it's it's going to be successful. And frankly and unfortunately that's a main reason why a lot of people don't start things 
because there is no guarantee. So ask yourself that question. Would I start this, whatever it is, if I knew I would fail? Okay, let that land. Leave it in the comments section down below. And I will love, love, love to hear your feedback. Even if it's a one or two comments, I don't care. I have no expectations, y'all. I'm doing this. And it was a message that really resonated with me as it applies to me building a business, me building an online platform and building my community. And I can answer that with certitude because none of this is guaranteed. And I know that I am doing this because I'm following my passion. I'm following the thing that lights me up, that brings me joy. And I'm doing it without any expectation. Do I wanna succeed? Hell yes, I wanna succeed. But I believe that the doing and the practice of doing is the successful part. Like I've already won. Everything else will be a result of me doing it and putting it into practice. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Day three in the can. I gotta run because I'm running late. Uh, Ozil signing off. Subscribe and like and share all that good stuff. And uh, shout out to everybody who's participating in Blockmas 2020, day three. Peace, y'all.